Y'all, we just here just chilling, having a picnic at the park. At the park. At the park. What are we gonna talk about, girl? Oh, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard a bear. <laughs> <laughs> It's so pretty out here, y'all. So oh, pretty. You know how you always just doing something and always on the go? We just sitting here actually just chilling. And when I say we got a beautiful tree just blocking all the sun, but it's nice outside. So green and, and I, lush. And I forgot to introduce you, my friend, girl. Yeah, hey, my friend is here kicking it. Uh, we've friend. been friends for about 35 years plus. Just chilling. I'm you got something to say, girl? Hell when you say I know. I know. I know. Ain't that crazy? Just saying, we've been friends for that long as a long time. It's a really long time. Are you looking for bugs? Yeah, I was. I really, she know me because I, look, I look back, she know I do not do bugs. I'm scared of bugs, especially, uh, and, and I'll be the main person to my I love it out here, but bugs, you see, it's a difference. I like to be out here, but not with the bugs. Nature involves bugs. I know, I know. Insects, animals, all those things. But it's beautiful. I love Georgia, this part of Georgia, because it's so lush and green, and to be here in the fall when the leaves are changing color. Yeah, that I'll is something. That's where I live right now, so it's nice. So you've been you've been enjoying Georgia? Yes. It's yeah, been we have. Time. It's been chill, real chill. It's very chill. Okay. That's why I need it. What I need it. Good, because sometimes you know you just need to be able to chill. Like we ain't even really do like a whole bunch. Like, and, and to be honest with you, like we usually be traveling and going other places anyway so with her coming to georgia that was something different it's like you'll never come to georgia <laughs> i think you've been, been once no i've been i used to come i'm gonna like, come this way because i feel like yes okay because <laughs> i feel like y'all can't see me hey y'all what are we gonna talk about today i don't know if i should have talked about that before but <laughs> <laughs> Right now we just it. and you gotta kind of get in too because I feel like I'm not I'm in. Mean, we just kind of winking it, y'all. Um, what it do? What, what it's done? been like being friends for thirty five years? We could talk about that. How we became friends? <laughs> That's crazy because it has been. Fifth when, grade. And when I think of fifth grade, when I think about fifth grade, I don't know why I told her that we was friends. 14, 15. Mm -mm, so that was before then. Yeah, 10 or 11 in the fifth grade. Wow. And it's like, you don't get that no more. Like at all. Like nowadays, it's like everybody just be, I don't know, it's just different. Like if you're able to find you somebody that can uh, vibe with you and y'all can get along and y'all ain't trying to be mean to each other. <laughs> and also like lifting you up because she she is most definitely a lift upper like for real she is like funny you said that because i was in your bathroom and all the stuff you had <laughs> what does your shower curtain say hello gorgeous yeah hello beautiful yeah hello, gorgeous. yeah, yeah it you do. have all the stuff on your wall that's all uh, very positive thank you affirmations around your home i'll be trying and it made me think about you've always been sort of you know not always since you've been older and adult you've been very much a positive <laughs> Try Thank to turn you. things into a positive. I appreciate that. You complain sometimes. Yeah, I'm, a compl try to I'm see a definitely a complainer. I ain't going to say you don't complain. <laughs> I'm saying as you age and wisdom, you know, seasoned, you've become less. Oh, that's ever. nice to know. Yeah. That is good to yeah. know. I'm more grateful for things. You know, yeah, because I... Try I, to see the bright side of things. Because I was like, I feel like to me when I was young, I just spoke what I wanted to speak. <laughs> I didn't think about nothing or nothing. And you know what changed me? One time, uh, y'all, my husband's aunt... She said, you just don't think about nothing that you say. And after that, that was like, dang, I really had to think because I really didn't think about that. And you need to think about it. Don't get me wrong. You need to be that type that voice your opinion. But sometimes opinions kind of need to be. You don't always need to say what you yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. You don't always have to say it. Yeah. Y'all, when I say it's gorgeous outside right now, like, and this is another thing I also wanted to come here to let y'all know. You don't have to be doing all this on all that to have a good time. Like, I feel like to me, we just been just chill. You don't have to. Keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple. Keep like, it keep cheap. it super simple. Yep, keep it cheap. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Yeah, because. No. Oh, I'm going to say it. I think I'm the cheap one. She most definitely y'all not the cheap one. Like, at you all. Don't seem like I'm so bougie. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say But I'm only bougie when it comes to very particular things. But in general, I'm like. Yeah, you laid back. Especially when I heard y'all was like trying to figure out what we wanted to eat. And y'all, guess what she said? <laughs> But guess what Don't she said? Say that. What did you? Well, you gotta say it. Guess what she said? You didn't ask me where I wanted to eat. I just said we could go by McDonald's and get a breakfast burrito. And some did you hear that? Hold on, wait, wait, quick. play it back again. Where? I didn't say it again. 
<laughs> she is not even a McDonald's person, but we ate it, so, and it was good. I eat McDonald's every yeah, blue moon. Yeah, I know. Like Me too. Food. I do too. Every blue moon. I like some McDonald's French fries. I ain't yeah. Oh, uh, especially when they. When they I was just finna say that if they cold, <laughs> <No>. they gross. <laughs> Super gross. Like for real gross. But if you think about it, a lot of things that's supposed to be hot and cold, but they get cold so fast. Real fast. I don't even understand the food nowadays, how fast it get cold. So y'all comment below, how, how long do you have any friends that y'all been friends for a very, very long time? And if you have, let us know below how long it's been, yeah. like for real. And I'm going to be quiet because I'm the one of the ones that talk a lot. I'm going to let her talk. Like what we going to talk about? We wasn't <laughs> sure what we was going to talk about, but we was like, you know what? People need to do this more. Like come out and enjoy nature. We don't even got no music, but well, we did have some jazz playing, but that's because I turned it on. We was just chilling without the music too. So, you can find all kind of lovely sacred spaces by just being quiet, going out in nature, just spending time with your friends, keeping it simple. I think we overcomplicate and overthink things and overanalyze things too much. And we want things to be just right and just so, and it has to be like this, and it has to be like that, but just like this. Just be you. And I think it becomes that way from like watching TV and seeing things around you. It be seen like on TV. So TV is such a fairy tale. Oh, okay. <laughs> they probably like that. Go ahead. <laughs> now I'm playing, yeah. <laughs> like for real. Somebody probably like, ooh. Oh, this having big boobs. <laughs> They're not like that no more. That's my boobs. Yeah, my friend, she 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 looked good, y'all. She did. I mean, don't get me wrong, she was always cute, but she done got skinny on me, y'all. I looked at her, I was like, oh my god, I gotta get myself together. No, she looked very, good. very nice, very nice. And I'm just kidding, like you look good. You do. Thank you. Appreciate For that. real. I once weighed 400 pounds. My gastric bypass. I lost 225 pounds. Then I gained some weight back after I had my son. And over the years, it was all kinds of things, but. Really just changing my diet and eating like sort of an anti-inflammatory diet and avoiding like oils and sugar and grains and flours and stuff like that. I wasn't trying to lose weight. I was just trying to be not in pain. But See? the side effect of doing that was losing yeah. weight. Yeah. And what, what a beautiful side Feeling effect. Feeling better. Yes. Energy. What a beautiful side effect. You know, sometimes like, you be listening to some commercials. It's all kind of side effects. <laughs> Tongue bleeding. Breath. <laughs> fingertip bleeding. Just crazy stuff. And just butt by eating. Yeah. <laughs> butt may fall off. Just crazy stuff. But just by eating healthy. And I got to start. That's my problem. I'm not I, drinking, by the way. Just yeah. Yeah. I'm, um. I got, and they actually wouldn't even have known we was even drinking, no, no. No, but we got these cups. No, we usually alcohol. have wine glasses, but we are outside, y'all. When you, And that's another thing, too. When you're doing a picnic, sometimes wine glasses is not for a picnic, no. like for real. And another Nothing thing. like your red solo cup. It is. Time? And see, we got a green. At least we got green. I try to be cute, y'all. I didn't want to get the red solo cup. I got the green you one. Fancy, huh? yeah, and, uh, and I was meaning to get you a different color than the, mine, but it's all good. It's We're all good. Uh, different colors so we could be even though we twinsies no i just playing one thing to another thing if you have a picnic make sure you get something that you are able to put your camera on and your cups on because if not they're gonna be tipping all over and stuff and hard gonna, surface a hard surface let's do a toast to just life and us being cool for this long and simplicity and simplicity and toast to y'all too for y'all checking us out staying positive with us and we appreciate it don't forget to follow right now like subscribe Yep, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Cause we need again, this need to be shared. We need to get Positivity. out and enjoy. It. Yes, share the change the algorithm. Yes, and algo. I always act like I can't say change that word. Algorithm. Algorithm. There we go. You, you, you hear me? Algorith algorithm. <laughs> algorithm. <laughs> For real. <sighs> but anyway, that's pretty much. And we've been it. married forever. Yeah, that is crazy. That, that is that too, that is crazy. Else and she happen. actually been married longer than I have though. Y'all been together married? for longer than true. Me. Eighteen years. Eighteen years. Do you not know, remember when we was young? We say we was married for. We hear people say they was married for that long. Do we think they was crazy. real old? Mm -hmm. Eighteen. She eighteen years, and I'm sixteen years. So, oh my God, that is crazy. <laughs> crazy, great. and we look great. And I. I, I was telling Daphne this, like, it's not only being married for so long, but it's like being married and still being 
happy. Cool. Yeah. Because like you see people married for a long time when you was growing up, but they were miserable. Tell me about they hated it. Each other. Tell me about like, it. Why y'all still together? Tell me about it. But it's it. like I'm actually cool. We're happy. Yeah. Like, I'm, we have a good marriage. Yeah. And that's the thing. Just because y'all hear people been married for years and years and years, don't mean they happy. Miserable. Like, do yeah. not mean. It. But to me, why would you be with somebody? They say for the kids, but the kids know you unhappy. The kids know you in other rooms and different things like that. Mm-hmm. You can still raise your kid. Without, in a much better environment. Yeah, I was just finna say that. Because if you think about it, it's kind of a bad environment, but you think it's cool because you got both the parents. So everybody want that. I would want that. I mean, I don't have no kids. But if I did, I would want the man, you know, whatever, though. Whatever it took. Mm-hmm. I would want a two-parent household that work. Even though you could do single, don't get me wrong, but you <laughs> need that village. And yeah, you cannot lie and say that. you cannot. You Everybody need that village. And I think that's what's wrong. A lot of people don't have that village no more. So. You gotta think about that before you start having kids. Yeah. Mm. Is there anything that you can give them of having kids? Like any positive things? Like just make sure of this or make sure of that? Because everybody, like to me right now, think just having kids is just that's the way to go. Is that the way to go? Tell us about that. I think having kids is um, a tremendous responsibility that I don't think a lot of people really think about before they have it before they have them. Um, not only cost, but the emotional, mental responsibility and just raising kids this day and age. You gotta think about it. Like the cost of college college is outrageous. People can't really afford to get an education, but you need an education to get certain jobs. But if you get an education by the time you get that education, that education is no longer worth anything. Mm-hmm. The cost of living is skyrocketing. Mm-hmm. The cost of childcare is high, all these things. I'm not saying money should be your decision factor, but you got to be in a pretty good spot before you start having kids. I believe. I didn't wait till I was almost 30 years old. And even then, I still wasn't necessarily financially great. Yeah. But not just that. Like, you need to be healed up somewhat before you start having kids. People have yeah. all kind of unhealed trauma and yeah. don't even know how to have healthy relationships and good communication skills. But you want to raise a child. Mm-hmm. And in this day and age... We already got enough people out here wilding out and enough people on the planet. So don't just be a parent because you think it's the thing to do or it looks cute or you want to have a title. Because yeah. I think what a lot of women don't realize is that is a thankless title. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a blessing. It's amazing to have kids. I love being a parent. I love my kids. I don't regret it. But I'm glad I did it the way I did it with a partner yeah. that I trusted in a marriage and yeah. a commitment with at least a little bit of financial stability. Um, and somewhat of a village who was able to help and support us in yeah. bringing up our kids. So. Yeah, and and she got a beautiful son, y'all. He is uh, sixteen now. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> like even even thinking about her, like having a kid. I don't know why. Like even like some of my clients, like when they come in, because they like my friends, and when they be trying to be mama on the phone, mm-hmm. I be like, who you think you is? You know what I mean? It's so funny. It be so funny. So I'm funny. probably a very <laughs> Relax, mom. Okay. But Daphne is a little bit more strict and on top of things than I am. Which is, Versus which is opposite. A good thing. When I was they were younger, I was more strict and more like on top of things. Okay. And as they got older, I'm kind of like, well, you either got your foundation or you don't. Yeah. I ain't gonna be staying on your neck about stuff. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, and I just believe everybody's got to find their way. I don't believe anybody's path looks the same. I don't believe we should make kids go through this process of institutionalization Mm -hmm. from school to high school to college to work like you never get to be a kid you basically have a commitment a day job going to school from the time you do that is so true (laughs) and then you got work when you come home when do you ever get to just be a kid and then don't have like sports and stuff so you really ain't gonna be at home like at all like like, oh you preparing them for your life you preparing them for life no you wearing them down before life even gets started Mm. like just be free enjoy stuff play around try things you know, explore. I don't feel like kids should have to go to college immediately after school. I did. I did all the things. I checked all the boxes. I did everything everybody expected. Yeah, she got a lot of degrees. Got an education. Got a job. Did all those things. And I'm looking back and saying, that worked for me, but I don't believe that works for everybody. Yeah. That's not what's going to make everybody thrive. I always say with my kids, I just want y'all to be self-sustaining, good people mm-hmm. that can, you know, yeah, offer something to the world. I don't care what your title how much money you make as long as you're sustaining and can take care of yourself for the most part that kind of stuff don't matter i'd rather you be a good person these days i think that's harder than anything yeah you gotta be a good person like that's above all else and i feel like we don't and seeing but you know and seeing all the crazy going on it's probably hard sometimes for people 
to, to know. Like, it's like uh, us adults do a lot of stupid things. So we're the kids probably be like, behavior. right. We're like, if mama behavior. doing dumb things, like, how you think they going to respect you? But you still should respect your mom. Like, yeah, always. You should always respect your mom and your dad. Even I'm 46 years old and I still do that. But a lot of people don't respect their mom or dad. You should but respect your mom or dad, but you also have to remember that things don't happen in a vacuum. Yeah. And, and define <laughs> that. Arrive, what you, that means you don't just get to some place out of nowhere. You get to a place of probably... Um, people have to earn respect and, and, and yeah. be respectful to get respect. I yeah. think the time frame where just because you have a title or you gave birth to somebody means you automatically can do whatever and expect people to still treat you with reverence and respect. That's not how people work. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with I mean, I mean, you can say that you should, but I mean, people have their limits. Yeah. Of course. You I think everybody respect. got their limits. Everybody got their yeah. limits. Yeah. So. Well, y'all, yeah. I liked it that, like, for real. So, y'all stay tuned. Again, go out, go find your bestie, whoever, and your, or your partner. Yeah. Y'all can go out and go have a picnic. Even we, better, yeah. as a relationship, True. you should do this with your partner. Yeah. Man, my bag will come out here. And you know it's even good, like, if y'all can maybe find, like, to me, I like to go to state parks and have mm-hmm. picnics. And you can do it, like, right by the water, too. Like, yep. But anyway, guys, did you want to say anything else? No, okay. Just good seeing my friend. And don't forget, you need to say your page because you got a, you got oh, a YouTube Mama channel. Ryan says, Mama Ryan says. Say it one more time better. Mama Ryan says. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put it in the description somewhere around sure. here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, her channel, and not only subscribe, make sure you're checking out the, um, the actual videos and we'll do the same for you. We'll pay it forward. And we'll make more videos together. And we'll make more videos together. And this time, though, we'll be, in, I'll be in Houston because I'm going to go visit her in Houston. Yeah. Yep. Okay, y'all. Concrete city. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Bye, y'all. Mm, okay, see y'all later. <laughs>